Hey buddies, what's up? Welcome back to another amazing episode of Drama Depot. So guys, in this amazing episode, we are going to discuss what did Natalie Portman say about her role in Jackie? Are you guys excited? So let's get started. So keep up with me till the end. Comment right below this video, subscribe if you still haven't, and turn on the post notifications for more videos. Natalie Portman has been nominated for three Academy Awards in her career. In 2005, she was nominated for the movie Closer. In 2011, she won the Oscar for her performance in Black Swan. Juan. For her portrayal of First Lady Jackie Kennedy in 2016's Jackie, actor Natalie Portman received another Academy Award nomination for Best Actress. For anyone who has watched the film, it is very easy to see why. Dealing with an iconic and especially unique figure from history can be a difficult challenge for any actor, but by all accounts, Portman nailed it and managed the task of emulating the First Lady's very distinctive accent. Jackie, directed by Pablo Lorraine, proved to be one of Portman's most highly acclaimed film. But what has she said about taking on this iconic movie role? Number 5. She had to smoke real cigarettes for the part. In addition to her extensive research and preparation to take on the role, Portman was also forced to make some sacrifices. It is common in films these days for actors to smoke fake or herbal cigarettes in front of the camera. But the actor, in fact, had to smoke real ones. Um, yeah, I smoked a lot in the movie. Portman told the Scotman, they were real, because it's hard to make fake cigarettes look real. Number 4. She learned just how intelligent Jackie Kennedy was. While studying Jackie, Portman says it dawned on her just how intelligent the First Lady truly was, calling her a scholar of history. The actress shared a story about the First Lady's impressive intellect. Even when JFK was courting her, she translated three entire books into Indochina from French to help him understand Vietnam. She was really impressive and that it is written much more than it is made. That's an incredible insight to have when you're part of it. She really just was so smart, Portman said to CNN. She really understood history and really understood that the people who write history are the ones who define it. The story you write is more important than what actually happened if you come up with a good enough tale. Number three, Portman also thought director Pablo Lorraine was perfect for the job. Nobody else could have done the story justice, Portman said. I was really excited with the idea of working with Pablo Lorraine because I knew he would bring something very unexpected to it and was able to take it places I didn't think it would have gone on its own. He found emotional, unexpected truths and he's not afraid to do things that are controversial or unconventional. Because he's not American, he doesn't have the worshipful reverence about the Kennedys. It's not disrespectful in any way, just human. And I hope it does a greater service to a person than just worshipful portraits. Number two, she said the movie lets you own Jackie's private world. It was also fascinating to work in Jackie's private world, Portman has said. The way she handled herself in that sort of crucible was so strong and intelligent, the actor said in an interview with CNN. It was really interesting to see that very private side. When you start looking into her crisis of faith, her doubts in God, her thoughts of suicide, but also her intense intelligence. Number one, but working on Jackie's distinctive accent was the biggest challenge. The biggest challenge in bringing Jackie truly to life, however, was mastering that accent, which Portman initially found intimidating. When you hear the real thing the first time, you're like, no, it's impossible. She confessed, I've never thought of myself as particularly skilled with accents, voices, mimicry, or anything like that. It's scary to put that on in a film when it's not yours. The accent is very specific. It's nice because it kind of tells a story too about her background. She has this very New York accent in which you see this sort of Long Island heritage. Then you also get this kind of breathiness in the voice that shows this very desire to present yourself, especially when she was on TV. It gets kind of breathier to present yourself in a kind of feminine, coy way. So guys, this is all about today's video. Share as much as you can. That really motivates us to create more content for you guys. With this, we end our video. Hope you liked the video. Hit the like button down there, comment down your views, and do share with more of your friends. See ya, take care.